Hello, I'm Matt, welcome to Badger Workshop. This time we're going to get the side walls built and then get them up. All the uprights for the walls could be cut to the same length. I already had the windows, so I can incorporate these into the design to make it easier to install them later. So I cut some wood slightly wider than window frames themselves. I want them to be a slightly loose fit as they're still going to have the breathable membrane and the flashing tape to fit into the gap. He's got screwed together with 100mm wood screws. I made two of these identical, and then I could take them out to the chassis where I could start to put the walls together. This was just a very simple process of screwing it all together and trying to keep everything square. I tried to keep the space in between the uprights the same as the insulation, as this would make the installation of the insulation easier later. Try saying that after a drink. One side got solidly clad in OSB, the other had the two cutouts for the windows. I'd be using the base as a little base to work off, but now I could go back onto the chassis. Put an end piece up onto the base and I could lift it up into position. I don't know if you can see, but the OSB extends out the bottom the same width as the base, so it kind of hooks over in theory. This certainly would have been easier with one or two more people. And to make it even worse, on the day I did this there was a little bit of a breeze, so it's slightly nerve wracking that it was all going to fall over. Initially I just got a couple of clamps on it to hold it in place where I could move it around in position and then drive some screws down into the base. I had totally clad this wall in OSB but it just made it far too heavy and I just couldn't lift it. So I took a couple of sheets off and then I can add them on later. I quickly got a few screws down into the base and then joined the front and the first side together. As soon as I had these two together I could relax a bit as I felt it had a bit more structure to it. Then it was the end wall. Just went up in the same way, mainly through the power of muttering quietly to myself and the odd swear word. Then it just got some screws into the base and to the other side. Then the final side went up and I could go and add all the missing OSB in. Last time you saw me make the hangers for the beams and here you can see how they work. Three beams just slide in either end and then a few screws go in to hold them into place. I was pretty shattered at this point, but I was determined to get it weather tight as you never know with a British summer. The breathable membrane would stop any water getting in. I wouldn't want to leave it with weeks with just this on it, but it's only going to be a few days until I get the cladding on. It's all pretty easy to work with, just cut it with scissors and then tack it on with some galvanised staples. I just got a 1 metre wide roll, but for larger projects you can get it up to 2 metres. Again, passing the roll over the hut and other pair of hands would have been easy, but I managed to get it up on the roof and then get down the ladder into the hut and throw it over the other side. I could then pull it all tight and staple it down. So I just repeated the process, working my way down the hut, overlapping each seam. That's it all done for now. Next is to get it taped up and the roof on. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.